Hi everyone, I was browsing YouTube the other day and this thumbnail really caught my eye. Now you guys know how much I love to make my own eggs, so I was really intrigued to see this one being made. But unfortunately, after watching the whole 12 minute video, they showed nothing about the thumbnail. So this got me thinking, can you inject resin into an eggshell? I guess we're about to find out. So the first step in this project is to take this regular chicken egg and empty the contents. And the best way to do that is to drill a hole at both ends and blow it out. Once you have both holes drilled, poke around inside to break up the yolk. That'll make it easier to blow out of the hole. Now that the egg is empty, I'm going to clean out the inside by rinsing it under a tap. I'm also going to try and pull out as much membrane as I can. So now that we have our egg all emptied out and the shells all nice and dry, it's time to get it ready for the resin. Now after looking back at the thumbnail, it looks like there's about three or four different colours in there. So I think the way I'm going to prep this shell is I'm going to take my drill bit and I'm going to drill three or four holes around the outside here. Now I'm just going to go nice and easy and not too fast, otherwise I'll just crack it open. So now that I've got all the holes drilled, it's time to try and explain how I'm going to do this. So basically the first thing I want to do is fill this whole shell up with some clear resin. And then once I've done that, I'm going to inject some coloured resin into these holes that I've drilled. Now before we do any of that, I need to bung up this bottom hole so the resin doesn't leak out. I'm also going to put some hot glue over the three holes that we drilled. So when I'm ready, I can just pop the glue off, inject the colour and then seal it back up again. The resin I'm using for this one is called Artcast and it's a slow set epoxy resin. Because my hole in the shell is so small, I've decided to use this syringe to pump in the resin. I picked out three colours that are pretty similar to the ones that I saw in the thumbnail. I ended up changing my mind as to how I was going to put in the colour. I ended up just stabbing straight through the hot glue. Well it didn't take me long to realise that the resin was heating up so much that it was melting my hot glue and it was just creating a big mess. It was then I started to think to myself, maybe this is gonna be a fail. Well, as you just saw, we had a little disaster, but that's not gonna stop me from trying again. Now, the reason we had that disaster was it took me so long to inject in the clear resin, it just started to cure on me before we had a chance to put in the color. Now I've gone ahead and made myself another one so we can try again, except this time I've used an even slower curing resin, so that way we've got a bit more time to put in the colour. I've also made a little modification to this one. I've built myself a little damn wall here around the opening, so that way when I inject the colour, any excess resin can just come over the top and it won't spill everywhere.
Well that was definitely a lot messier than I anticipated, but we got there in the end and it looks pretty good. So the next thing I need to do is pop this in the pressure pot. I'm going to leave it in there for about 24 hours. Now I am going to run pot cam for this one, although I don't think anything's going to happen, but just in case it does, we'll be able to see it. Since this pot cam isn't going to be too exciting, I think it's a good time to thank my channel members. Well that hasn't turned out too bad. We did get a little bit of a dribble. You can see some resin dribble down the side of the cup there and on the bottom of the shell. But I think it's alright. I can see the resin level has dropped a bit, but I think we'll be able to get away with it. I guess the biggest thing now is, can we actually get this shell off the resin? Before pouring the resin, I did try and spray some mold release through the tiny hole, so hopefully that has helped a bit. But I don't know. What do you guys think? I want you to pause this video and let me know in the comments. Do you think I'm going to get this shell off the resin? I soon realised that this was going to be a lot more difficult than I thought, so I tried using some pliers to chip away at it, but unfortunately that didn't work too well, so then I tried getting myself a pick and started picking at it, and that started to work okay, and I thought I might actually have a chance of getting this off, but after a while I soon realised that that just wasn't going to happen. I remembered back when I was a kid and we used to do science experiments, and I remember that we used to dissolve eggshells using white vinegar, so I thought I'd give that a go. And 24 hours later, this is what we got. This was looking very promising. I was actually a little worried that the resin wouldn't let the vinegar do its job. Well now it's all cleaned up and I've got all the shell off, this is what we're left with. Now I'm not too sure what this white bit on top here is. I'm assuming it might have something to do with the membrane, although I did pull all the membrane out of the shell while I was cleaning it. I think maybe there's some residue left and that's what caused it, or maybe something else. If you guys know, let me know in the comments. As you can see by the finish on here, it's not very nice. I'm assuming the inside of the shell was a little bit rough and that's what's caused this dull look. So I think what I might do now is I might give this a sand and a polish. That way we can take a closer look at what happened to our colours inside. Well after we took the eggshell off, we could clearly see it looked nothing like the thumbnail. But after sanding and polishing, it definitely looks better than I expected. Let's take a look. I think with a bit of practice, you could achieve the results of the thumbnail. If you wait for the clear resin just to firm up a little bit and then inject the colour, it should stay in place. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.